Well, in this, we're continuing to look at that from if there are any different angles. For instance, uh, we, we've shipped that case to several different agencies to look at, uh, different investigators, different techniques or, uh, you know, to look at evidence, the chronology of the case, witnesses, uh, essentially to see if anybody's got a, a different view, a different angle, a different idea that we can follow up on. Uh, the case, in my view, that, that case will be solved but it will be the advancement technology that is going to make that happen. Uh, there is evidence there, and we can only take that, the analysis of that evidence so far today, but we're seeing, you know, improvements in the accuracy and, and certainly uh, testing, you know, very small or minute quantities of evidence that we've never had the ability to do before. When that murder happened, uh, 10 years ago compared to the, the state of forensic uh, abilities now, uh, not even close. We're, we can say we're certainly much further. My hope certainly is, and I, I, I firmly believe that uh, within the next few years as that process uh, becomes more sensitive, more accurate, and we can analyze forensic evidence that we simply didn't have the ability in years past. That's going to happen, and that case will will come to a conclusion. Well, I know you had at least one strong suspect, but weren't there a few others as well? Or there were a couple. There were uh, certainly I would characterize as, as strong suspects. I, I think that uh, uh, certainly looking at the at the suspects in the case, and as you said, one strong suspect. I, I think that. Hopefully, in the not too distant future, that you know we can actually make more than suspects. I mean, it really hinges on being able to have you know the definitive evidence that we can match up to a particular individual. We'll get there.